What's up everybody? It's your girl Victoria Lynn Myers back with another video. Today we are doing some of my favorite workouts for getting a nice juicy pump without all of the effort that sometimes maybe booty day entails. Sometimes it can be a little bit deterring whenever you see these like 20 step routines or hip thrusting 3,000 pounds. I'm here to tell you, although that's cool and you can do that, you don't have to do that in order to get a good pump. You also shouldn't feel like you have to choose between having a work life type balance and going to the gym for 20 hours a day. As somebody that really struggled with over exercising for a while, I would spend two, three hours at the gym every day and it ended up deteriorating not only my physical health but my mental health. There's a new stat that came out where if you spend three to five days at the gym per week, your mental health can increase, but anything more than that actually deteriorates your mental health across the board. So the more you know, the more and better you can do. I'm here to elevate your life and tell you one size does not fit all, but if you are looking to get a juicy, juicy, juicy pump, I'm here to help you with that because I love a good booty day. So anyway, before we get into today's video, if you could like this video, comment down below. Let's increase that engagement. The better this video performs, the more likely I am to continue producing this content. And let's get into today's booty pump video. Okay, the first exercise we'll be doing, and one of my favorites, is wide leg sumo squats. Let's get into it. For reference, we'll be doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps, and I'm using lighter weights for examples. Okay. Starting out, two hands on the dumbbell, like shoulder width but a little bit wider. Hold the dumbbell with both hands, and then squat, making sure when you come up, you really push through the back of your legs. For a glute medius cable kickbacks, first and foremost, grab a bench, move it close to your machine. I'm makeshifting this because my gym is pretty small, the one that I work out from occasionally. So what you will need is a cable kickback accessory. I will link it down below in my Amazon storefront. And what we're going to do is move the cable around middle point between your waist and your ankles. If you have more of an area to work with, go ahead and move it up to around your waist level. This provides enough tension to really get a full range of motion. We're going to be making sure that when we kick back, we are going to be putting our foot at a 45 degree angle while we kick back. That will really target that side glute, the glute medius that is so difficult to hit. So with that being said, let's get into it. 
three sets of 15 per leg. Let's go. Also a little reminder to not rush this and allow yourself to take your time going up and down on this exercise because it really, really allows the muscles to get a full range of motion and to really feel that burn and to do the most bang for your buck. far good job hopefully you're feeling a burn and thank you so much for watching all right everyone that is it for today's video if you like this content give me a like and i will see you so soon bye